One of the bloodiest battles of history that took place from August 23rd, 1942 until February 2nd, 1943. That happened partially due to the egos of the two leaders that were involved in this battle. This is the Battle of Stalingrad. Germany to this point in the war had been sweeping through the Soviet Union after the launch of Operation Barbarossa in early summer of 1942, and had pushed almost to the Volga River right in front of Stalingrad, named after Joseph Stalin, directly in the path of the Sixth Army for Germany. As the German Sixth Army continued forward, the Soviets attempted to make a stand outside the city, and as it did not work, fell back amongst defensive lines in the city, hearing Joseph Stalin's Order 227, or more commonly known as the Not One Step Back Order. German ground forces made it to the Volga River, both north and south of Stalingrad, which meant that the Soviet troops there were surrounded, with the Volga River behind them and Germans on three sides of them. It was not easy for the Germans, as city fighting was not anything that they were ready for. The Germans called the Battle of Stalingrad the Rotten Creek, or the Rat War, based on how every building was fought for, living in trenches, and hiding in garbage. There are recordings of German and Soviet soldiers fighting in the same building on different levels, having that as the front line. Two places were well known for their la for their stands against the German army amongst the Soviets, one of which was Pavlov's house, which was held by about 25 men for two months of the battle, occupying major sight lines to both the north, south, and west to be able to keep German forces spotted as they were moving. The other place was the tractor factory in the northwest part of the city, which continued producing tanks even through the battle up until the point that the Germans took the building by force. The battle was extremely stressful for both sides, as close quarters fighting, hardly any respite, and most dangerous of all, that became new and well-known in Stalingrad, snipers. The most decorated Soviet sniper, Vasily Zaitsev, achieved a confirmed 225 sniper kills during this battle alone. In late November, Soviet forces made a counterattack against the Romanian allies of Germany, who were defending their flanks, ended up encircling German troops in their ultimate goal of Stalingrad, turning what was hopefully a conquering into their grave. Surrounded and facing starvation with a lack of adequate clothing, General Friedrich Paulus of the German 6th Army surrendered to Georgi Zhukov, Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Soviet Union, which concluded the Battle of Stalingrad. Between the two sides, there were just under 2 million casualties and an untold number of civilians. After this point, Germany fought a defensive war on the Eastern Front as the Soviets slowly pushed them back 